when I was younger, when school was ending, I used to be one of those kids that even though everybody else would say, oh, yes, finally summer's here. Like, I would say that on the outside, but really on the inside, I would feel kind of sad that summer's coming. I would feel kind of sad that school is ending because honestly, I had fun during school. There were things to do. I could look at friends, I could hang out with them, I could do these different things, I could do projects and stuff. But during summer, I was honestly kind of bored. And so inside, I would always feel kind of sad that summer was coming. And when summer would come, I would always just wake up and do random things. I remember I would get up and I would watch Carter share vlogs. I'm not sure if you know that person, but basically he's this YouTuber who just puts up random stuff and it was just like complete garbage. And I would just sit down and I would watch that first thing in the morning with stinky breath. Like I haven't even taken out my eye burgers and I would have wa I'd be watching that. I remember I'd, I remember I would just pretend like I was practicing video games. I was practicing so when I got on a call with my friends and we could play video games, I was really good. But in reality, I just wanted to play video games. I was always playing, playing, playing. And if I wasn't playing video games, I was either watching Carter Share Vlogs or I was watching other people play the video game that I was playing. And it was just this overstimulated life. This life of because I was so bored, I would swing the complete other way, try to get as much dopamine in my head but the thing is i really felt kind of soulless i felt like i didn't have a purpose in my life i felt like i was constantly distracted i never knew what i actually wanted to do i never had a beat inside my heart i never had a direction that i was going i was never improving in any way i was just living off my impulses and I could honestly feel that. And it's not a good feeling at all if you've ever experienced this, if you're experiencing this right now. You know that there's something better. You know that there's an adventurous spirit inside you that wants to do more. You know that there is this spirit inside you that wants to go out in the world. And when you hear stories of these explorers like Christopher Columbus, like these guys who went and explored completely different areas of the globe that they had no idea about, inside you there's a little bit of you that wants a bit of that you want to feel that same kind of purpose that same kind of adventurous explorer purpose you want to feel like you are doing more with your life not just sitting down because the world has already been discovered and just you know soaking in your impulses soaking in whatever you want to do and being a gluttonous creature. An important thing to me was finding this purpose in my life. For me, there's always been these different interests, different purposes that I've been in my life for different periods of my life. So don't feel like you have to choose one purpose that is a true purpose for all of your life. And I feel like a lot of people try to think in that way and they can't figure out what their purpose is. And instead, they just feel bored and they just do whatever they want to do. They just go and distract themselves. Instead of doing that, pick a subpar goal to go for pick a subpar purpose to have in your life and i know it doesn't seem very attractive but i promise it will get you a lot more than you think because in striving for this goal even though it's not this one purpose this one goal in your life you will still feel like you are moving forward and then you will find different avenues and maybe one day you will find that one purpose in your life. Honestly, I haven't found that one purpose. I'm just following different purposes all the way until its end and then switching purposes. I don't feel like there's a one purpose in my life right now. I haven't found it. So to find these short term purposes, I call it short term, but it's really, I'd say like at least a couple months, spend some time on this purpose. The way to find it is to spend some time thinking and genuinely think about what would be really cool to improve on? Like, what do I lack right now? And what would be cool to improve my character with? At least if you're a beginner, I would definitely try to have this mentality of what do I need to improve in my life before you try to explore different things? Because you'll find that in improving something in your life, you have to explore anyway. So this is the easiest way to find a new purpose that you would actually like to be ambitious for. Meditate on this, go for walks, do whatever you need to do to try to find one spark in yourself, one thing of, yeah, th th that part of me is kind of lacking. Maybe it's social skills. Maybe I can't really speak to people. Then for this period of my life, I'm gonna get really good at speaking to people. I'm gonna become charismatic. You know what, maybe my body's lacking. I'm gonna actually start working out. I'm gonna take care of my body. Okay, maybe there's times in your life when you're like, you know, I've already got the body. I've already got the ability to speak to people, but I really wanna work on a specific skill. I wanna be able to do this skill and monetize it. And so then you go and work on that. There are different parts of your life that I'm sure that you'll be able to find that you want to improve. So these are the first purposes that I would recommend that you take. 
So when you take this purpose, I want you to make it the one goal in your life that everything should be in some way attached to this goal, except for like basic things like family and sleep and other things like that. Most of your clear active brain time should be spent on this goal. It shouldn't be like subpar, you know, late in the night, maybe I'll think about it. It should be pretty much during the day. This is what I'm thinking about. And when you take on this purpose, I want you to embrace all the challenges that come with it. Embrace all the obstacles that you have to conquer. The more obstacles, the better, the greater your story will be, the more beautiful your life will be, the more beautiful it will feel to actually finish and feel so proud of the work that you've done. Welcome stress into your life again. A lot of people don't like stress and a lot of people are always shying away from stress. But really, the truth is, if you are bored, the reason why is because you don't have any stress in your life. You don't have anything that is motivating you. You don't have anything to do. So you need to find a purpose, you need to find a goal, and you're going to strive for that, and you're going to welcome every single challenge that comes into your life. You want to set harsh deadlines that you have to get something done by, and it feels like you're finally alive for the first time again. You're not this husk of a person, this slug-like creature that's going about looking for whatever's stimulating him. You're actually working, you're feeling alive, you don't know if you're going to make it, but you're working hard. You're going to do it, you're going to try hard. That's a beautiful feeling. I really think that you should pursue that. And the thing is, a lot of people don't even like packing their schedule, but I feel like when I put stuff in my schedule, when I say for this block of time, I'm gonna work on this, and this block of time, I'm gonna work on this, the rest periods between those blocks feel so much more fulfilling. I'm not bored anymore. Like just eating breakfast, I have fun. Like I'm just sitting down and I'm just eating my eggs and it feels so nice and calm and peaceful because I've already done the hardest thing first. I've already finished the most hardest task in my day. And after that, I can relax a bit, right? And then I have another task that I gotta do. But the biggest thing that I have in my day, the most important task I always schedule in the morning and after I finish, it's like the rest period is, is beautiful. It's not even like I'm bored. It's not even like I need to stimulate myself. I'm happy just resting. I'm happy just eating breakfast. Purpose is really a force multiplier. It's like you can't get distracted. It makes you energized when you didn't think you had energy. So it's really beautiful to have this purpose in your life. And I'll really recommend, honestly, I didn't really think about this, but something that you could do is once you have this purpose, once you have this goal, write it out on a piece of paper and stick it on your wall so that every single day that you wake up, you look at it and it's like, oh yeah, I need to work on that. And that way you keep improving and improving and improving. And eventually you might find that, you know what? I don't really like this purpose anymore. I've already maxed it to the most I can. I'm going to switch purposes now. I have a new goal that I'm aspiring to. And in that way, you always find that you progress in your life. You're never this guy who's just a slug, who's just sitting where he is and just stimulating himself. And you're actually going for new things. You're becoming like a new version of Christopher Columbus. I hope that you got something from this video. And I hope that you go out and conquer.